1,300 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle, hidden deep inside a frigid mountain, is a biological Noah's Ark. Svalbard is a place unlike any other. Explorers from around the world come to the archipelago for rare wildlife, the winter northern lights, and the summer midnight sun. But what most visitors to Svalbard don't realize is that secure, safe, and unseen within this magical landscape is a treasure trove crucial to the survival of the planet, Earth's seed bank. Near to Longyearbyen, the most northern town in the world, lies Plateau Burget Mountain. Locked away in cold, dry vaults lie over one million dormant seed samples of crops and trees from all around the world. Able to store up to 4.5 million varieties, this is the world's largest secure seed storage facility, ready and waiting in the event of an apocalyptic emergency to protect and restore biodiversity and future life on our planet. There's only been one incident so far where the doomsday seeds were called upon. After an attack on Aleppo in 2015 during the Syrian civil war, the entire seed collection at the International Center for Agricultural Research in the dry areas was destroyed. The collection consisted of 148,000 seeds. Thankfully, 80% of those lost had been duplicated and sent to the vault in Svalbard. They were retrieved and are now regrowing in the region, thriving once again. A fitting reminder of why the vault is so important. So why Svalbard? The archipelago's remoteness makes the vault less vulnerable to human interference. And the nearby airport and town of Longyearbyen provide enough infrastructure to receive new seed shipments and to support a vital team of maintenance engineers and scientists. So that the seeds are properly preserved, the vaults are kept at a constant temperature of minus 18 degrees Celsius and must have low humidity. Svalbard has a natural permafrost, which means even in the case of a power outage, the vault will stay cold and dry enough to keep the seeds frozen. However, in 2017, due to climate change, melting permafrost seeped into the vault itself. Thankfully, none of the samples were damaged, and since then, the facility was upgraded to no longer rely just on the permafrost alone to keep the seeds cold. Despite this incident, Svalbard is still considered one of the safest places in the world for long-term storage of the seeds. This isn't the world's only secure deposit. Every country owns their own seeds, but if a global crisis were to arise, the Svalbard seeds would be available to everyone. When going on an expedition cruise with us to Svalbard, you're unlikely to gain access to this preciously guarded place, but the locals are more than happy to share stories and insights that you can share and retell back home spreading the word and sowing seeds of awareness about our planet's long-term welfare.